Hi everybody, today I will show you how to add background slider in Elementor. So let's just begin. Alright, so to add the background slider in Elementor, it's really easy. You don't need to install anything except Elementor. Okay, so after that, what we need to do, I will just simply create a new page. And in this new page, I will be creating a background slider. Okay, so let's add the title here. Alright, so now let's click on Edit with Elementor. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do here is actually go inside the setting and I have to change the page layout. So that would be Elementor Canvas. So this would actually remove the header and footer from our page. Okay, so now what I need to do, I just want to add a new container here. And this would be a single column structure. And in here, I would actually like to add a heading. Okay, so let's just drag the heading here and put it here. So let's add background slider example and what I need to do, I have to change the background color. So I would actually like to have a white color here. And what I need to do, I have to increase the size of the phone here. Alright, so I think 65 would look perfect. And what I need to do, I have to add the padding here. So that would be 100 maybe or we can go for 120. Okay, so this is looking fine. So now what I need to do, I just have to click on edit container here. And here in the style, you will be able to see the option of slide show. Okay, so let's go inside here and click on add images. And from here, what we need to do, we have to add the images for our slider. But one thing that you have to make sure is the dimension of the images. So you have to choose the images of same dimension. So for example, uh, right now, as you can see here that we have thousand by thousand. So we have to choose second image by thousand and third one. And you can see the dimension of each image is same here. So let's click on create a new gallery and you can add the caption here if you want to. So let's click on insert gallery. All right. So we have added our image here. And you can see this, the infinite loop is enabled. And if you want to decrease or increase the duration, you can simply do it from here. So this is actually in milliseconds. Okay. So I think the duration is fine. We don't have to adjust the value here. And we can set the transition. So that is right now fade. But I would actually like to have slight left. Now you would be able to see a different transition. And you can also see the transition duration. So you can simply adjust the value as per your need. So after that, we have the background size. So in the background size, we have three different values. So that is actually cover, contain and auto. So if I just click on contain, you can see here, we are actually having the repeat of our image. So I think this is looking better than before. And we can also adjust the position of our background from here. Okay. So right now, what we need to do, we can enable the lazy load and we can also enable keen burns effect. Okay, so let's just do it. And you can see here, we can set the direction of our keen burns effect as well. After that, we have background overlay. As you can see here that we have the white text color on our heading and we are having a kind of uh, bright color on our background images. So how can we adjust this? We can do this just by using the background overlay. So let's just click on classic here. Let's just click on color and we can go over here for a kind of dark color. Okay, so right now you can see here our text heading is looking clear. Okay, so from here I can increase or decrease the opacity of our background overlay. So if you want to increase this, you can simply do it from here. If you want to decrease this, you can simply do it from here. So I think I want to go here with 0 0.6 and we can also add CSS filters and we can also select the plain mode and after that we have border and we also have the shape divider so that is how we can add background slider in Elementor so if I just try to make this responsive so first thing that I need to do is to click on responsive mode and now you can see this we are actually on the desktop mode so if I just click on the tablet you can see this is looking fine 
uh, we can do one thing here we can adjust the size of our text okay so let's go inside the style and from here we can adjust the size of our text so this is looking better and we can put this into center okay so this is looking perfect now and in the similar way let's just click on mobile portrait all right so now you can see here that our design is not so responsive on the mobile so how can we adjust this i think the text size is fine what can we do here is to go inside the advanced setting and here as you can see the padding so we can adjust the values here all right so i would only like to add the value at the top and the value at the bottom as well okay so now this is looking perfect and we can do a similar kind of thing in the tablet board so let's just adjust the values here and we're going to also add 120 to the bottom okay so now this is looking perfect and our background slider is actually responsive on each side okay so let's click on publish and click on have a look and you will be able to see our background slider here okay so this is how it works and this is how we can add background slider in elementor so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel